Today, there was disappointment after NASA was forced to scrub the new mission to the moon because of an issue with one of the engines on one of the most powerful rockets in U.S. history. CBS's Mark Strassman has been at the Kennedy Space Center since the early hours of the morning watching all this unfold. Good, good morning or good afternoon as it is now, Mark. Tell us what happened today. Hey, Nora. Well, first of all, uh, today's uh, launch window here barely got the chance to open. Engineers had spent six hours fully fueling the rocket and then discovered a problem for reasons that are still unclear. A liquid hydrogen line failed to chill one of the four core stage engines. So they tried to troubleshoot the problem only to discover a second issue, a faulty vent valve in the intertank. We'll know more about what all this means tomorrow, whether these issues are minor, that is fixable on the pad, or major, which means hauling it back to the garage, in this case the vehicle assembly building, that potentially could mean a delay of weeks. Artemis 1 is supposed to open a new era in NASA moonshots. If these fixes are relatively simple, the next launch window opens Friday early afternoon, but the issue then is the initial weather forecast, a 60% chance of no go. Mm. Nora? Mark Strassman, thank you so much.